Maslow's hierarchy of needs has both advantages and disadvantages when applied to business operations. While it can provide valuable insights into employee motivation and well-being, it also has limitations that businesses should be aware of. Here are the strengths of Maslow's hierarchy of needs to human resource management. Strength 1. Simple and easy to understand. Maslow's hierarchy of needs is a relatively simple and easy to understand theory, and this makes it accessible to businesses of all sizes and industries. Strength 2 provides a framework for understanding human motivation. Maslow's hierarchy of needs provides a useful framework for understanding what motivates people. This information can be used to develop HR strategies that improve employee motivation, engagement, and productivity. By recognizing that employees have a hierarchy of needs, businesses can tailor their strategies to meet these needs and motivate their workforce effectively. Strength 3. Designing Employee Benefits and Incentives The hierarchy can inform the design of compensation packages and incentive programs. For example, it suggests that addressing basic physiological and safety needs through fair pay and job security is essential before focusing on higher-level needs like recognition and self-fulfillment. Strength 4 can be used to create a more positive and supportive work environment. Maslow's hierarchy of needs can be used to create a more positive and supportive work environment where employees feel valued and respected. This can lead to a number of benefits, including improved productivity, reduced turnover, and enhanced customer service. Strength 5. Employee Engagement Recognizing the importance of social needs and self-esteem, businesses can foster a positive workplace culture that emphasizes teamwork, social connections, and recognition for achievements. This, in turn, can boost employee engagement and satisfaction. Strength 6. Talent Retention Addressing higher-level needs like self-actualization and personal growth can enhance employee loyalty and retention. Businesses that invest in employee development and provide opportunities for advancement are more likely to retain top talent. Strength 7. Conflict Resolution Understanding the hierarchy can help in resolving workplace conflicts. By identifying the underlying unmet needs of employees, managers can address issues more effectively. Let's look at some weaknesses of Maslow's hierarchy of needs to human resource management. Weakness 1. Simplistic model. Critics argue that Maslow's hierarchy oversimplifies human motivation. It assumes that needs are linear and that people prioritize them in the same way, which may not be accurate for all individuals or cultures. Weakness 2. Limited predictive value. The hierarchy does not offer precise guidance on predicting or modifying employee behavior. It does not account for the complexity of individual motivations or the influence of external factors. Weakness 3. Change in priorities. Individual needs can change over time and in response to different life circumstances. What motivates one employee may not be the same for another, and a person's needs can shift as they progress in their career or personal life. Weakness 4. Cultural Variations The hierarchy may not apply universally across all cultures. Cultural norms and values can significantly influence the prioritization of needs, making it less relevant in cross-cultural contexts. Weakness 5. Lack of Empirical Support some critics argue that there is limited empirical evidence to support the strict hierarchical structure proposed by Maslow. Research in psychology has shown that human motivation is influenced by a wide range of factors, and the hierarchy may not accurately capture these complexities. Weakness 6. Overlooking external factors. The hierarchy focuses primarily on internal needs and may not consider external factors such as workplace conditions, job design, or leadership, which can also influence employee motivation and satisfaction. In conclusion, while Maslow's hierarchy of needs offers a useful framework for understanding human motivation and its relevance to business operations, it should be used as a general guideline rather than a rigid model.
Businesses should recognize the individuality of their employees, consider cultural variations, and complement the hierarchy with more comprehensive and contemporary theories of motivation to create a well-rounded approach to employee management and well-being. Thanks for watching, and we hope you found this video helpful.